Hello everyone and welcome to Swahili Kingdom. So today we are doing the Swahili adverbs of interrogation. Swahili adverbs of interrogation and I'm going to add the adverbs of negation and adverbs of affirmation. Adverbs of negation are the ones for the negative. Adverbs for affirmation are the ones for the positive, agreeing. So in this video, let's know the adverbs to use to be more inquisitive. An inquisitive person is someone who asks much questions. So we present the adverbs of interrogation plus adverbs of negation and its counterparts, which are adverbs of affirmation. Enjoy the video as you learn this great lesson. We will discuss on how AJ is used as a suffix so as so as to make a, to make questions like umekulaje how is aje added there aje means how how so umekulaje will be how have you eaten how have you eaten because we have the matins okay so enjoy the video and make sure you subscribe if you haven't Hello, do you want to cram vocabularies with no struggle? Use this app. It has all the five levels, the beginner, the intermediate, up to the expert. So go download this app in the description link below and support Swahili Kingdom. It even has a chat net. You can, ha you can chat with a bot right here and we have daily native conversations. We have notes. Get direct translations from here and it has 60 plus languages. So stop waiting and get this. To download the app, use the link in the description box below. So adverbs of interrogation. We have the, the suffix J. And if you want to know more about the suffix, infix, prefix, use the video in the, uh, in the suggestion above. I have explained all of them. So J as a suffix means how. Example, unaendelea uliendaje sokoni? How did you go to the market? So ulienda, ulienda ni you went or you you yeah, you went, ulienda, you went. So when you add J, it becomes a question, uliendaje? And J is from AJ. AJ, okay? The second one we have J, which introduces questions. Example, J, ulikula chakula kingi. So, did you eat a lot of food? The other one we have wapi, where. Let's see the next one's number five, which is lini, when, utarudi lini, when will you come back? Number six, jinsigani. How is this? Kikombe hiki kinatengenezwa jinsi gani? Or kikombe hiki kinatengenezwa kivipi? How is this cup made? If you want to know how to form the words, like kivipi, kivipi, the link, use the link above there. Okay, use the link above there and see the video on how to form words such as kivipi. Okay? Number seven, kwani. Where for? Kwani hukujua? So you didn't know? Like it shows surprise or, sorry, it shows surprise or anger. Kwani hukujua? So you didn't know? <coughs> Number eight, mbona. Why or where for? Mbona unajisumbua? Why are you troubling yourself? Mbona unajisumbua? Number nine, kwa sababu gani? For what reason? Ulinunua gari kwa sababu gani? For what reason did you buy the car? For what reason did you buy the car? Of course, this, um, this interrogation, these interrogatives are more from the other ones like kwanini, Kwa nini? Kwa sababu gani? You want to know the reason. So you are inquiring for the reason. Instead of just asking why, you say for what reason. Number 10, tangulini. Since when or how long? Example, tangulini nikawa muizi. 
since when did I become a thief? Maybe someone is accusing you of being a thief. You have stolen something of theirs, but you have never stolen anything. And you, you tell them, Tangulini ni kama mwizi. Since when did I become a thief? Number 11, kadirigani. In what measure or proportion? Utanunua vitabu kadirigani? In what measure will you buy things? But kadirigani is not that, that much used. It is not very much used. But it's good if you know. Number 12, kiasi gani? At what price or quantity? How much? Utanunua unga kiasi gani? Very commonly used. What quantity of flour will you what quantity of flour will you buy? Kiasi gani? Very much used by shopkeepers. <laughs> and then unataka pesa kiasi gani? How much do you want? Mpaka or hadi wapi? How far? Utatembea mpaka wapi? Adverbs of negation. When you want to when you want to decline something, you can say la, la, no. But this one is this one is very very. What will I say? It's very. I think it's rude or it's harsh. Not rude. It's harsh. Umeviona viatu viangu. Have you seen my shoes? La, no. Or la harsha. This one now is the harshest. <laughs> The most harsh. Umesha kunywa chai. Have you drunk can? Have you drunk tea already? La hasha. No. And then you have the other one. Seal. Not or not. So also used as a question tag. We have another one. Save you. Not so. Not thus. Also used as a question tag. This one is more used as a question tag. More than seal. Example. Unajua kuendesha gari, sivyo, or unajua kuendesha gari, sio. You know how to ride a car, right? And then your answer should be, when it's sivyo, it be ndivyo. When it's sio, it be ndio. Adverbs of affirmation. This one are pot positive. You are agreeing on something. So you have nam, yes, ndio, or ndio. Yes, or it is so. Ndivyo, it is so, it is thus. The opposite is sivyo. We also use the interjection e, eh, which is commonly used, which means yes or I agree. For example, when someone when someone asks you, umesha kula, and you say e, eh, which one? That one means yes. Instead of saying ndio ni mesha kula, you just say e eh, to make the matters easy. So we have nam, which is used when someone is answering, when someone is being called, and abe. Abe is used for girls and nam for boys. Like when you call a boy juma and they respond nam, it shows respect. And when a girl responds abe, it also shows respect. So thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have learned something that you didn't know before. And subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Until next time. Bye.